put a sodium head back on. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is your coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Witches. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. I beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm hmm Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. But there's no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be a service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'll be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And, seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Show me what you got behind the counter. Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. 
just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. The black one's been out measuring the fields. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Boy, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Once more, there are four factions. Four what? Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own... What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman, long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape. Violence and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope, but it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwen? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done.
Well, well, you've a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It to Geralt of Rivia himself, the Butcher of Blaviken. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp, she rode in there, dark of night, black and white, gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. See you later, Vesemir. Done drinking. Then fuck off! <laughs> Don't want your kind here. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course not. No, uh, you've done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft! Get him!
Oh. My grand told me about the Swiss boy. Lad went missing one day, so folk had a wicked fun to stay. So folk in Marseille, where he started twisting his arm into a worm band. They must have been on. I'm sorry, well, send me to some town. Me give me a slingshot. Oh. I'm gonna hunt bears. Uh, stop. for trouble. And you, could you do the worst for me? What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to serve as their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That's what I think. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. The humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. I've <sighs> not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in it, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. What now? Shavings from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. 
boot prints, a man's, large. Stinks of piss and vodka. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Sure to be poison. Sure? Not so sure. Who knows? Will you go to the well in Hovel instead? Not in your life. Tracks lead back to the village. We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I'll let it go half free. Let me have a look at your stock. Take care. I hide hell Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. My gran told me about a smith's boy. Lad went missing one day, so folk nabbed a witchman that was hunting nearby. Just don't look at me. Him. When well, he started twisting and squirming, Heard so wham, bam, they knocked him off. Freak. Oh, so it worked. Set to just some trail. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throat. Am I not right? Listen. We can work this out, man to man. I give you gold, 
you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Calm down. Now follow me.